she be like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now before I change my mind. Incomplete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. So this shouldn't take... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. I'm not sure that's really Curie. Oh, but it is I. Sorry. <laughs> These vocal cords are very strange. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, what is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Thank you so much. I hope you find some peace one day. We must hey. find the men of science and institutes of learning. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Here's some advice. Keep your limbs attached from now on. <laughs> I will do so. That was strange. I laughed. I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Listen, G519 went through a lot, but she was good, solid. I hope, I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. What was G5 like? Tough, tough enough that SRB had to strip her mind more than once. When I saw G5, she didn't even recognize me but I owed her from my time in the Institute. That's all I'm going to say. Losing G5 was tough, but I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ. She's already dead, but what's left of her could help others. Yeah, but will she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We fought our whole lives to be more than that. G5's off life support right now. Her body is deteriorating. It's best if you decide soon. Damn it. Fine. Do it. Do it now before I change my mind. Curie, 
Let's begin. I should see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's You think memories. that is going to stop G5's me? You think that is going to stop so me? You think that is going long. to stop me? Bring it on! Yes. I feel... I feel so strange. <laughs> Listen to me. Can you that hear me? What me? is your name? My name <laughs> Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. Yeah, but will she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We My favorite. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. Yeah, but will she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We fought our whole lives to be more than that. G5's off life support right now. Her body is deteriorating. It's best if you decide soon. Damn it. Fine. Do it. Sure. The caretaker is here. She wants to speak with you. Curie? I must see Dr. Hanari. Right away. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to I your friend's memories. I hope this memory. Amari can help me. G5's already been prepped. This Dr. So Amari this hopefully can long. help or point us in a good direction. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not... Good. Uh -huh. Three. If I threw a baseball... Uh, me? Think of a strong memory. <sighs> he was on it? Oh. Right. You might be feeling great. This uh -huh. the operator. Uh -huh. She may need your help. Thank you, Doctor. Hey. Remember to breathe. And so here's some advice. Keep your limbs attached from now on. <laughs> I will do so. Hmm? I I will be fine. Just bear with me. You must be careful that the police do not. Her sac- I... Uh. Fine. Curie? I should see this Terminate story. all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. Anything? So it's this shouldn't take it's long. Very confusing. Yes. There. I... <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. My designation... You had me worried there. Do not concern... Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, 
My insights feel peculiar. What is that? I'm not feeling it, so you tell me. I have no idea. My chest feels so tight. Poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Hey there. Listen, G519 went through a lot. But she was good. Solid. I hope... I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. Hell if I know if it was worth it. I guess this will be one for the philosophers. Losing G5 was tough, but I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ. Oh, another physician. Tell me, where did you go to university? University? You're not serious. You think that is going to stop me? Hey. Do you need something from me? Uh, <clears throat> Remember, to breathe mm -hmm. and suck deep. Here's some advice. Keep your limbs attached from now on. <laughs> I will do so. I uh. just... Got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Excuse me. Good neighbor's crazy. Babs murders worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Who's Mr. Abominable? He was a caveman, got frozen in an iceberg from prehistoric times. When they thought him out, he went on a rampage. It took the Shroud and Man-to-Man -Man combined to take him down. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I might do it, if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, 
They were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. You are supposed to file a police report, yes? And all the little things go in baggies for evidence. This place is most agree, most intriguing. Starting recording.
Survive the hostility. Never this, this bright in the vault. There is something nearby. Identity unknown. Yeah. I would prefer if there was a whole lot less of that. You have no allergy. This place is filthy. and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. A television studio. We are supposed to get autographs, yes? This is something before the troubles, yes? There we go.
Got it. No way I could pick this. I've seen pictures of that. Be careful. Excellent.
tells what I have on me. Heads up. What do you... Heads up. Trade is good. Look alive. Are you giving me a present?
look alive. May I be of... Can I help you? Your thoughts? Humanity has fallen so since the bombs. That was it. As you say. Yeah. If you're sticking around, you'll need to join the crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking for you. I'll need to catch with the No Nose. But she pays. Hey. Say hi to your mom and pa for me, okay? Hey, you. Looking for work? Depends on the work. You'll never find a more fair and honest job. If you don't mind a little manual labor and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me here. One fifty to start. Still not good enough. Two hundred. And that's as high as I go. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta watch out for this one. I'm gonna need more to go on here. There's a project I'm working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here. You know? I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. What? You dry? Head over to the third rail. Hey, was that you stumbling out of... 